everyone, I am Will Cook, and today I'm going to be introducing a new series I'm doing on GymFC to help you get started designing next-gen aircraft and control systems. This first video in the series is going to be showing you how to install and get GymFC up and running. Currently, GymFC supports Ubuntu uh, 1804 LTS. I'll be walking through the installation instructions on getting this set up on this operating system. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, GymFC GitHub repository. And the only thing that is currently installed on this fresh uh, Ubuntu installation is Git. So I need to copy the URL for the Git repository. And then I'm going to just go ahead and uh, make a workspace directory, cd into that, and I'm going to git clone the repository into this workspace directory. Now we can go into this directory and we have everything that we need in order to install GMFC. So let's go back to the repository and look at the readme. If we scroll down and we see installation, we can follow just the simple quick start to get GMFC installed. One of the most difficult things about getting GMFC installed is it's quite difficult to get all the dependencies, uh, such as the simulator backends, all working correctly. This has been greatly simplified by the included install dependencies script. So we can just execute in our repository that we just cloned this script, and following that, we can just install GMFC. So let's copy this command. The argument here, make flags, will pass uh, the flags for this uh, environment variable to the script, which will allow uh, four jobs to run in parallel when it's actually uh, compiling um, the uh, physics uh, simulators. So let's go ahead and execute the script. Now, this takes a significantly long time. It can take uh, about an hour because it is going to be uh, building the Dart physics engine from source and also the gazebo simulator and all of its dependencies. So we're going to allow this to run into the background and we'll, we'll come back once this uh, script has finished executing. So uh, now the script has finished executing and if we scroll up, uh, we expect it to be installed correctly if we see a bunch of the gazebo um, uh, files being installed in the correct location. If an error does occur, the script should abort and you should be able to uh, see the actual error that occurs. So now that we have all the dependencies installed, we next, we next have to go ahead and install uh, GMFC. Now if we look at the uh, readme, we can simply uh, install with pip. However, it's usually recommended to install within a uh, Python virtual environment, so let's set that up first. And this isn't a dependency, so it looks like we don't have that installed because this is a fresh install. So let's go ahead and install that first. Okay, let's go back, execute. Uh, this command which will create a virtual environment called env and if we do an ls we'll see that uh, virtual environment has been created now let's activate it 
and we can see that virtual environment has been activated uh, by the prefix env here. So now we can go ahead and execute uh, the pip install. Now uh, I want to mention this will uh, install uh, GMFC. However, if you plan on doing development with GMFC, you'll need to add the dash e the edit flag, which allows you to change the source files and. Uh, be able to use those uh, immediately. Otherwise, if you change the source files uh, without the dash E or edit flag, then you need to uninstall uh, GMFC and then reinstall it. This is because they're installed uh, in different ways and in different locations. So for right now, for this example, we're assuming you're just not doing any development. You're going to extend uh, GMFC for your own environment and uh, you don't need to have edit mode. So this in the background is going to also be compiling uh, all of the uh, C++ plugins for Gazebo. And that's what we see here. It's, it's doing its work right now, doing all the compiling. Uh, this, um, this error here, you don't need to worry about that. Um, that's pretty normal. Let's give this one more second. If you do have problems or you want to see more information as the install is occurring, you can always uh, install this uh, with the verbose flag as well. Okay, so we have inste uh, successfully installed GMFC. Uh, now um, we can do a, a pip3 freeze to see all the package that are currently installed. And uh, we have GMFC that's been installed in our virtual environment plus uh, NumPy, Protobufs, some other packages. Now that we have everything installed, we want to be able to validate that everything is working properly. One of the ways we can do this is look at the included test scripts, which all, uh, provide a number of different functionalities for testing uh, that certain parts of the system are working correctly and also to aid in the development of uh, your own aircraft model. Well, take a look at uh, particularly the test start sim script. What this script does is it validates that uh, your gazebo installation is uh, installed correctly, it's communicating and interacting with GMFC uh, correctly, and also that we're able to take one of the aircraft models which in GMFC dynamically loads it into the world and at least in the context of attitude control will fix that aircraft uh, about its center of thrust. So the first thing that we'll do is uh, look at the options for that script. And uh, we have an option here to provide our own uh, configuration file or to set the verbose flag, but the required parameter is to provide our aircraft configuration file. And for GMFC, this is going to be a gazebo model.sdf file. Uh, in GMFC, we include an example uh, aircraft, the NF1 used in my thesis work that you can uh, use to test out that your installation is working properly. So let's go ahead and access that. Now 
Now when I execute this, this will launch a gazebo with the actual uh, GUI so that we can actually see that the model has been loaded correctly. So here we have the NF1 uh, FPV uh, quadcopter and uh, oops the it is not fun using a trackpad on your laptop uh, to navigate in gazebo um, but as we can see we have it fixed about the world and right now uh, loaded in gazebo um, if we take a look down here the number of iterations and the real-time factor is zero so uh, we are currently frozen in this world the only way that we progress and uh, step the actual physics simulator as if we command those steps to happen through uh, motor commands in GMFC. But for this particular test, we're just making sure that uh, we can actually load our aircraft model and right now everything checks out okay. So I can exit here and we can double check um, that uh, the gazebo server uh, is up and running which it should have died and it didn't so sometimes you need to go ahead and kill it okay so let's take a look at the other scripts that we have we're not going to go through them because the remainder are mostly for uh, model development uh, the check sim uh, stimulator, uh, the check sim stability script allows you to uh, analyze the actual stability of your model. And I have an additional YouTube video I'll link in the description that uh, actually goes through this script in more detail. Uh, this is also outlined in the last chapter of my thesis, but essentially this is just showing that we need to use a more accurate back-end physics simulator uh, and basically uh, describing why we need DART to provide more accurate simulations. But uh, for normal purposes, you won't need to use this. Uh, we also have um, the test access and test step sim scripts. Now what these allow you to do is uh, help you during model development to make sure that the actual control of each access is actually performing that correct rotation that you expect. Uh, this is essentially to verify that uh, your motor uh, your motor ordering is correct and that what you think the front of your aircraft is the front actually is the front. Uh, so these are interactive scripts that allow you to step the actual simulator manually. Now that just about concludes the uh, verification of the installation and following videos we'll look and take more of a deep dive into the actual uh, GMFC and Neuroflight environment that's included that is the environment used within my thesis to actually create models to then use within Neuroflight. And we'll go through uh, some of the additional scripts of now that we have GMFC installed, how do we go about actually using it to uh, create more uh, advanced control systems and also use it as a tool for developing next generation aircraft. Thanks for watching. Until next time.